Hey everybody, what's cooking? Happy early Sunday morning. Well, at least for me, it's like 3 a.m. <laughs> uh, thank you, Crimson, for that Dragon Warrior 3 run. That was pretty cool, uh, seeing the Famicom uh, challenge run. We're going to be closing the marathon with some Dragon Quest 8, and I hope the audio sounds okay. Is the audio okay for everybody before I start this run? Hey, how's it going, everybody? See you all. Audio okay? Audio check? One, two, three. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Welcome to some Dragon Quest Eight. Let's begin. Let's start in ten seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! So Keanu was originally going to do some Dragon Quest Eight for us. Unfortunately, he cannot make it, so we're going to um, do some... Go ahead and uh, take his spot here and just do some true ending for you guys. What true ending is, is that we're going to not only beat the game and beat Raftorn, we're also going to do the extra optional dragon fight at the end. So we are going to do... Uh, the, the post game. So that means we're gonna grab the Argon Ring, and we're gonna actually, because you when you grab the Argon Ring, uh, the ending does change. There's two versions of Dragon Quest Eight. Originally, it, it was for PS2. Uh, the 3DS version came out almost like five or six years ago and has added a lot of quality of life features compared to the PS2. And you're about to see them right off the first battle here. The game is a bit loud, I can turn that down. Let's see. Uh-oh. All right, how's this how's the game sound now? So I'm going to change the battle speed to fast. One of the nice things about the speed run is that with the faster uh, battle speed, it significantly speeds up the run. And there's a horse princess. Uh, yeah. so. so to give a little bit of a background of the story, the king and the princess of Trodane has been cursed along with its the, the whole kingdom and the whole castle has been cursed and uh, they're on a journey to find someone named Dolmagus. He infiltrated the castle and was the one who set the curse. He stole um, a, the staff. Uh, 
which ultimately like has a, 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 the wielder of the staff. How to describe it? It has uh, cursed powers. And as we progress through the story, uh, we'll be seeing the staff controlling uh, other people. But as of right now, uh, Dolmegus is the guy we're after. The estimate for this run is going to be about nine and a half hours. Uh, compare it to a PS2 run of True Ending, it'll probably take 13 hours. Because of the quality of life features, uh, the 3DS version is significantly faster than PS2. When you look at the PS2 version, it's definitely more on the RNG side, whereas the 3DS version is a little bit more execute execution based. Yes. This. And part oh, of the reason is because on the 3DS the whole... they eliminated random encounters. You can actually see That's... the random encounters on screen. That's... Oi, Gov! You won't. Um, let's get... To start off, I'm going to buy a couple of Chimera Wings. Of course, Chimera Wings lets us teleport to different towns. Get a couple for the hero. Oh yeah. This guy here, once famous fortune teller, spends most of his time drinking now. Honky tonky piano man. The townsfolk is like, oh my gosh, there's a monster sighting in town. Better go see what's up. I gotta say, the hero in this game, it's probably my favorite looking hero, with the bandana. And he kind of looks like he's wearing a construction outfit. But for some reason on the 3DS, they removed his Super Saiyan hair when he gets 100 tension. He just left his bandana on. <laughs> and that's why uh, Princess Midi is a true wife who uh, protecting her dad there from the well, from the stones. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, it's I but it's see with Rylos. Wait. Please I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't. If you could, it's bad. So this is Valentina. This is the fortune teller's daughter. Apparently, she had a dream about us, and she's wants us to help her out. 
And of course, we can't say no. In terms of movement, there's not really a lot of movement tech. You'll see us runners try to run backwards to uh, to avoid enemy spawns. But there's nothing special about the movement that will make it faster. So she wants us to grab the the orb. What? I do. I. Because he threw it on the water. He threw it at a waterfall north of the town. She wants us to grab it. I'm. But that's really so. I. I said. <laughs> Shiner, your musical performance was the most excellent. <laughs> Grab some things here. Some of it is for it to sell. On the 3DS version, they added blue chests, which contains random items, and you can see them in the world's map. And the beginning of the run, this is a. Uh, it's actually a little RNG. Um, what I'm really hoping for is that these blue chests, there's two blue chests that I'm going to pick up, and I'm hoping that they contain a lot of money. Either a good amount of gold or items that I can sell. Yeah, similar to DQ9. If I can get the money early, that'd be nice. Otherwise, I have to do an awkward fight with the Slime Knight at level 1 without the boomerang. Yeah, the whole goal for me is to collect enough money to grab a boomerang, and usually a boomerang is a sta oh, seed of wisdom. That's like the worst thing you can get. Come on, give me a magic water here. Even 200 gold will work. Sixty gold. <laughs> that is not ideal. So I'm gonna have to fight Slime Knight at level one, or uh, without the boomerang, rather. So that's gonna be a little bit tough. I'll do a little safety save here. Crucial that I get the back attack. So, it's heroes, Anna. Let's get the leather shield to hero. And let's stock up on herbs. And the 60 gold was <laughs> really unlucky. Okay. Not the slime I'm looking for. Oh, 
The goal is to kill this guy with, uh, 250 tension attacks. I think he attacks Angus here. Alright, good. Perfect fight. The One Night Stand, great name by the way, will give me a... When you fight the notorious monsters on the field, they drop something called... Uh, monster coins, and they're worth a lot of money, and I'll give me enough money to get my boomerang. Boomerang cost 420, I bought some herbs for the next fight. Just typically see in some of the early game of uh, Dragon Quest speedruns, is the use of boomerangs and whips. They're, they're usually powerful in the beginning because they, not only do they do a lot of damage, they are an AoE, so you can attack all the enemies at once. Can be super useful for grinding, and taking out the early, uh, early bosses. Something that's extremely helpful as a quality of life addition is that when you level up, your HP and MP get restored. And that wasn't like that on the PS2. It was a it was a struggle in the speedrun or when you played casually. I like I really like how they added that. As you see on the bottom, um, bottom left, they provided the maps for us, so what they did is they replaced the chests that would normally contain the map with gold, and we're definitely taking advantage of that, because gold is pretty tight in the speedrun we are utilizing, managing our gold quite a lot. And these owls are really good in experience, so that's that's what I'm going to be going for, owls and skippers. They did buff up the experience on enemies. So in this first dungeon, I'll be getting a uh, good amount of experience compared to PS2. And picking up these chests mainly for safety. There's another owl I can see on the left there. 
The goal before fighting Geyser is I want to be level 5 with some change. By the end of the dungeon, I want to be level uh, 6, because Hero learns evac. The 3DS is where, when you level up, you get healed. On PS2, you don't get healed. <clears throat> what I love about this game, and what I remember the most, is getting lost and just struggling first time I played this game casually. I played it like back in middle school. And this, it was just an amazing experience. Not only the music, but the just getting lost in the world map. And the game wasn't easy. This is a this is actually a pretty challenging RPG. Hey, get back here. Nice, my first D, well, I guess Dragon Warrior game is, uh, Fisticuffs. Make sure I give Fisticuffs to Yangus here. It was Dragon Quest 2, unfortunately. That was a rough experience. Or Dragon Warrior 2. Man, those, those Dragon Warrior games were... Hardcore. Still haven't seen any skippers. This is the floor where I'd usually see some skippers. Uh, there's, they're the little monster boots thing. Uh, no skipper. Okay. What if I flip my camera like this, see if I can respawn anything? No. Okay. And it's not like they're uncommon. It's just weird I haven't seen one yet. Hey, what's going on, Death? Hey, there's a skipper. Give me two of them, please. That works. Actually, what I can do now is I can actually take off the club. At level 5, uh, Yangus is going to get an agility boost with... with fisticuffs. <laughs> well, not quite. Oh, there's another skipper. I'm gonna have to uh, do some rotating in the camera to force some encounters, so uh, aka I'm gonna have to do a little grind. Ooh, so. Get hurt too much here. I'm gonna be safe and throw our herb. Let's 
long as he doesn't die. There's an owl there, I'll go and try to fight it. Three owls. A lot of experience. Almost as good as two skippers. Will this be enough to be level five though? Let's see. It is enough to be level five, but I just need one more encounter. Is my agility plus 10, so I'll always outspeed Geyser. There we go. Nineteen experience, I'm hoping this is enough. Be pretty unfortunate if heroes like one or two experience points short. It just means I have to run back after this fight. But I am high enough to fight Geyser here. Let's full heal. Let's throw a safety save. The nice thing about the 3DS version is uh, you can do some safety savings wherever you want. So that makes it pretty marathon safe. There is definitely metal slime grinding in this version, but it doesn't take as long as PS2, just because you can see the slimes on the fields. So in order to kill guys, I need two 50 tension boomerang attacks. Hero is, due to uh, the story, he's immune to curse. Get my 50 tension attack off. Let's heal the hero. This fight is definitely much easier on 3DS just because Yangus goes first. <laughs> so I can heal off. Next turn should get him. Attack, attack. And that's the first boss down. Well, now let's see if Hero gets level six here. I hope so. All right, we are good. I'm gonna learn something called Defending Champion here. I'm gonna need it for the next boss. I'm actually going to be fighting Calamari at level 6, and in order to stand a chance, I need that move. <laughs> Nikki, defending Pog champion. No dragon graveyard in the speedrun. We're gonna be farming in Trodane, and that's actually where we're gonna get all our experience for the for the rest of the run. I 
It's a little bit of a flashback of what happened to Chodin. And remember guys, don't throw things in the fall water! All right, let's get the heck out of here. There's a couple of seeds of strengths that I'm going to use on Hero or on Yangus to help me with the Calamari fight. A couple of herbs for the hero. Herbs on Yangus. Cucumber wings for the bag. Should have put it on hero for to save some inputs, but that's okay. No, I'm not going to skip the tower. I and it's use, but you are and you are wow in even give it. Mori is recruitable on the 3DS version. There's actually they added two you. new characters. Yeah. Or there are two playable characters, rather. Not new, but playable. Red and Mori. So you can actually play as Red and Mori, and they're very unique characters. Red is going to be... If it weren't for Red, this, this speedrun would be very difficult. She plays a major role for the endgame. I believe Yangus and Red have their own side game. Wasn't it a... Is it a mystery dungeon type game? Young Yangus. Another feature that's on the 3DS is the ability to take, take pictures here and you get rewards for taking pictures. This will be the first picture that I take. I need a total of 15 stamps from these picture side quests because that's going to give me a special item that'll help me with the grind later. On the PS2 speedrun, the Jessica would be our main uh, serious damage dealer, along with Yangus. But because they nerfed Jessica, the Zance is saying uh, to find another source of damage. And in this case, it's going to be Red. She does a ridiculous amount of damage with. Uh, one of her moves, as you'll see later in the game. So now, uh, we're actually just gonna head straight to Calamari without fighting any anything else. I'm gonna try to avoid random encounters for the rest of uh, the story here. If you want to get a good time in this game, you want to make sure you dodge and avoid random encounters. It's not easy, or it's not hard to run away from encounters, but it, you know, it does take time. And the 
dodging is not as difficult as the other Dragon Quest speedruns. And one of the things that you'll see uh, the 3DS runners do is sometimes they'll run backwards so that enemies don't spawn in front of them. As long as I don't get into many random encounters in the in this marathon run, I'll be happy. And there's another blue chest here. Let's see what I get. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a magic water this time. Hey. That should... Help me avoid any money issues. For the uh, next bit of shopping. This is Alexandria, home of uh, Jessica, but more importantly, home of Banger Z and Mash. If it weren't for Grandma, this run would totally be dead, because these guys would destroy us. gonna find out here that Jessica is missing. She went to the tower to search or rather avenge her brother. We're gonna get some munchy action here, one of our favorite characters. Rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling with Munchie. So, like, getting up that broom is super awkward. By the way, rolling doesn't speed up anything. I'm just doing it for fun. <laughs> I believe I picked up the wafer clothes. I think I did. Because I meant to pick this up last, but yeah. I 
Okay, but if I'm right. Got him. Guess we gotta find Jessica. With the lead of Banger Z. The 3DS is certainly the faster version because of its quality of life features. And here in this case, we can make the walk easier by running backwards. Don't have to worry about enemies spawning in front of me. I trust you, Banger. The goal is just to get to the top of the tower without running into enemies. A little bit tough because it's some narrow spots. Certainly want to avoid them because they hurt if I fail to run away. Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> I thought I could outspeed the beetle, but that's certainly not the case. Thanks, Billy. Seed of agility and want for the end game. I'm gonna talk about alchemy later on when we have access to the pot, which will be pretty shortly actually. We get access to the pot right after we defeat Calamari. Happens to be an enemy in front of me. What I can do is I can open up the menu and go to the equip screen to despawn the enemy. There's a scale shield uh, I can pick up, but, but I'll skip that. Ooh.
Hopefully, uh, <laughs> no more encounters after this. Already ran into two of them. Frog. Okay. That was a little bit scary. If I failed to run a second time, the party would have been beaten up a little bit there. You, I knew you. I'm not ex exactly sure on the math how three works, but it's pretty much a coin flip. Just say it's 50%. You have a 50% chance to run away every turn. Wait! Jessica! Uh, stay. Stay! But it's too Running away in this game is not as brutal as the other games. Yeah, Rinzer? It's me. After even look the day that. So Domegus here, here, here's the actual bad guy with the staff. He's going around killing, uh... <laughs> uh the hares to the sages. Power up the staff, and Jessica's brother here is one of them. So Jessica's looking for Domegus as well. He's trying, to, she's trying to avenge his death. And I don't if the my stuff. No. One for mother may follow. One of the things that we do in the speedrun is we like to take pictures of sad people. Um, Another picture taken. Trode secretly working in the background on the alchemy pot. Almost ready.
We're going to find out here that Jessica's going to take off to look for Domegas. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be fighting Calamari at level 6, which is extremely low. The reason why we can fight him at level 6 is because we taught Hero Defending Champion, help us tank some of his attacks, and we also have the ability to set Hero's AI, which was not a thing you can do on PS2. Two reasons why it makes the fight possible. Tower of Alexandria is actually a zoom point that they added, which is nicer. It's a bit closer to Port Prospect. I'm going to visit the tower a few times too, so I don't have to walk there. Port Prospect is a little bit of a walk, but thanks to no random encounters, we'll get there in a jiffy. I wasn't really paying attention to Yangus' uh, strength seed rolls. out here uh, how much he'll do to Calamari. I'm going to buy him a scythe. He'll be our main damage dealer for the next couple bosses. This guy's here name is Cameron. Obscura. Fantastic name. And this is where we can do the photo side quest. You know, I think I forgot to take a picture of Jessica's mom. So I probably should take some backup photos, because I'm pretty sure I forgot to do that. Some gold, so let's sell the hearings. Nice boomerang. Let's sell this. There's a 
Scythe, and then we want Scale Shields. Okay, we're pretty much set up for the next boss fight. Definitely gonna save. So Calamari has 360 HP. Calamari is usually a run ender for the DQ8 speedruns. He's while he's scripted, agility rolls can really mess me up. Ideally, I always want my characters to go last, and being level six. Their chances of going first are really low. Yeah, Yangus' uh, scythe is the only reason why I can do damage to Calamari. So we were told that Domegas was on another continent, so we went to Port Sp Prospect and got a boat to go chase him. Okay, this fight takes quite a bit of focus. Hopefully we can get a first try, but sometimes RNG and then the DQ runs can be brutal. So he's always gonna open up with a fire attack. I'm gonna go to my move here, defending Pog Champion, then Herb. I'm always gonna do that for Flame Breath. And his next attack is gonna be a single target and I wanna set Hero to heal his AI. And for Yangus, I wanna put, see, this is, uh, this is how we die. So I have to improvise here. Hero going first is never good. Focus on healing. Never want to see Hero go first. Hopefully he, he uh, attacks Yangus. Ooh! <laughs> Ouch. on healing, psych up, we're kind of reset here, so that's good. Again, Again I hope he attacks Yangus here. So on healing, psych up. Good. I'm gonna play it safe gonna heal Yangus here because he might have low HP 
not survive the next attack. Okay. Okay, perfect. 101, not good. I'm guessing my seed, will, seed rolls were really low. What I'm gonna do is here is I'm gonna double her. Well, not double her, but I am gonna heal with uh, Yangus. Okay, heroes out of MP. Heal with Angus. All right, I did not guess right on hero. We should win here. Pretty nice, we got uh, Calamari first try. Because he's scripted, um, I know which actions to execute. We did get a little bit unlucky in the beginning, but we recovered nicely, and I'm thankful for that, because when Hero decides to go first, that really can just mess up the whole fight entirely. But we got, in, we got ourselves into a rhythm. As you see, the premise of the fight was set Hero to heal when it single attacks. And Hero was defending champion to tank most of uh, his swipes there Not and his flame breath. You know, and who? I'm Yang. Yanga. Yanga Schmangus. We're gonna get a little bit of a background here how Hero met the Gov. Or is it the other way way around how Yangus made met the gov? Actually, you're so I've got Welcome to the party, Jessica. I guess. No, you could have helped us fight the cal the the calamari guy. Well Go, you know. Well, I'm clear. 
The store. It is. It. All right. I just this saw this. I ain't as I don't know. And that's hold it right. Who can? Me? That's right. Yeah. The one. I would. You just saw a man fly. Hey, what's up, Bram? Glad you can make it. What? Mr. Arian. Yeah, if you're in it, put a sock. Put a sock in it. So. Well, um, this is the. Whatever. <laughs> Jessica's like, whatever. Trode has done it. He has finished the alchemy pot. Another super useful feature that has been added that really helps the speedrun is having the pot be instant. You no longer have to wait and walk around. To make things there you have instant alchemy pot right off the bat ps2 in order to get it you have to do the post game Right off the bat, I'm going to start alchemizing and make myself a whip for instant money. A little bit of shopping to do here before I move on. With this whip, I'm gonna sell it. And buy some items. Get myself some more wings. A couple wings. Actually, buy four wings. I'm gonna do a metal slime grind here. So I'm gonna buy myself a holy, some holy water. Some more for the back. 
definitely want to stock up on some herbs. Our next stop is going to be Simpleton. <laughs> no reason for me to do any random encounters. Be doing some grinding metal slime, a little or a small metal slime grind before we fight tortured soul. For now, we're just gonna walk around and get some return points. And here, I'll just open up the menu to avoid the random encounter and despawn the enemy. We're actually going to do the Wisher Peak side quest first before we do Tortured Soul. Because the night and day cycle lines up perfectly. Then we can also farm our Metal Slime. Fourth playable character, Mr. Angelo. And please enjoy one of the best cutscenes in the game. Not. Just send a man flying. <laughs> Go on, give him a good dip. <laughs> I hope you won't. 
You're out of luck. Why, what? The name. Show them au revoir. Oh! Gave them. Our next stop is going to be Escantha. I'll remind myself to take up some uh, backup photos. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to take advantage of, uh, or we're going to utilize red, for sure. Unfortunately, Mori, you have to complete the monster side quest, or Monsterina side quest, to recruit him. To give a little bit of background on myself and uh, Dragon Quest 8, I've been speedrunning this game for almost maybe seven years. I've done both the PS2 and 3DS version. I'm pretty. I've reached my uh, goal times, I would say. I probably want to get sub 730 on 3DS at some point. What I like to do is I like to do fun speedruns of this game as well. I've done pretty much all the categories you can think of. I've done Gospel Ring speedruns. I've done Ultimate Dragon speedruns. And those are probably... The PS2 Ultimate Dragon speedrun is probably the hardest and most stressful speedrun of DQ8 out there. I've done S Stark speedruns, Mori speedruns. Maybe one speedrun that I would like to do someday is mini metal, grab all the mini metals. Or break all the barrels. Barrel percent. I've definitely done reject percent, which is you choose the worst skill trees. I've done uh, AI percent, which is you just use the AI the entire speedrun. <laughs> that was kind of brutal. Another, another fun run that I've done is a no metal slime speedrun for the PS2. It's crazy how much of a difference uh, it really makes. I think it took me 18 hours to do a no metal slime speedrun. Compared to like 11 hours it would take if you were to do slimes. What's up, Axel? No armor percent? Okay, so one of my backups. Take a picture of the dog. I'm collecting stamps with my photos. 
that I'm taking, because it'll give me uh, the double bubble, which doubles my experience. Because we're doing true ending percent, uh, this run's gonna take about nine and a half hours, maybe ten. No random encounters on 3DS. Hey, gang girl. So, the king of this, or of Scantha is, you saw him lying in the throne, very sad. It's because his wife died. The queen died. So, the maid is asking us to cheer him up and go to Wisher's Peak. Actually, before that, we're gonna take a trip to Trodane, because why not? Grab all the return points. One of my good friends, Purple Mario, recently got sub 730 in this game. He's been grinding this uh, one out. Him and I love to share um, ideas between uh, this route. Ooh, he caught up with me. Nice. Wow, actually, if we got ambushed there, that would have been... <laughs> that... Mm. That would have been something. Yeah, sub 720, sub 720. Yeah, uh, being able to see the encounters will make the liquid slime grind 
mm, very manageable. All right, we can start grinding. Probably should throw a safety save here. It's been a while. So I want to take another picture of the uh, little calamari kid. Count a few stamps. Well, I see a metal slime. I'm definitely going to go for it. Oh, two metal slimes. And I want those metal slimes to be by themselves. The, the perfect fight is if we can get three slimes. Look at that. Well, hopefully one sticks around. Three holy water should guarantee a kill. Okay, we at least got one. Possibly two. We can end the grind right now if the second one decides to stick around. Ah, oh, well at least we got one. One out of two. There's a picture of the uh, calamari kid. Just need one more slime. Yeah, they nerf the slime HP in this one. Oh, what the? That is just too risky. What kind of formation was that? Three, uh, or one slime and four kissers? Okay, just one stick around, please. Dang it. It's alright, it's just another, uh, one of those classic RNG splits. Would've been nice if we got both kills in the, the first fight with the three. Okay, well, surely one should stick around, come on, just one out of three and I'm done. No! 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 <laughs> come on! What was that? Three slimes running away in a row? What was that? Okay, here's three slimes. Three more slimes. There's no way six in a row can run away like that. Okay. Technically, it was, uh... Because the two, the two slimes that I ran into ran away. But we are getting an experience for Calamari, or, or Tortured Soul.
And we're actually good for uh, a trap box as well. I need two slimes to give Jessica enough points for her knives and do enough damage to a trap box. Definitely don't want to fight Calamari again, that's for sure. What a metal slime grind. <laughs> that first fight was looking really promising with the three uh, slimes. And here, uh, the runners get a little bit of a break while we wait for the window to reach the wall. Guess I'll grab some water here. There's quite a few breaks in this game, a cutscene where you don't have to push any buttons. Um, this is one of them. I think the next opportunity for me will be the ship, which is right after the Metal Slime Grinds. And here we're going to enter a dimension or world called the Moon Shadow Lands. I think it's Moon Shadow. And we're going to meet someone named Ishmari. It's a unique, um, mysterious character and use a harp to do some. I don't know, interesting things. He's gonna help us bring the king back to his senses. Uses the harp for some funky tunes. Very true. Many in Sh 
Surely. Sure, but I'm sure. At last. It is certainly a sad scene, but there's a whole bunch of sad scenes in this game. Just like that. King is back to his senses. Never it felt. Thanks. I can I swear farewell. Okay, now we can do the tortured soul side quest. What you'd usually do is you would do Amelia um, Abbey first and then do Ascantha. Those are the two quests you have to do before you do Pick Ham. Oh! 
touched. I don't. <laughs> you need leave. I. Who's this guy? This guy looks like a jerk. I apologize. Matters. Visa, I warn you. <coughs> you again. <laughs> Very well. You again. He's been standing here this whole time. Well done. News tra How much? Yes. Mm. You're not. It's Templar. I'm here. Cross me. So now Angelo is going to ask ask us a favor. He wants us to go to the ruins and see uh, what's up there. Seems to be a evil presence. To the ruins. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember the FF12 demo that came with this. Hello, Lonely Joe. Goodbye, Lonely Joe. Some narrow spaces here. It's a little bit difficult to avoid random encounters. So I'm probably gonna just try to walk backwards. So I'm just gonna wait for you. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay.
Oh, that was close. Okay. A little bit of uh, equipment change here. Let's give Leather Kilt to you. We have our clothes. Hero. I'm gonna give the ring to the hero for some defense. And then let's throw a safety save and fight tortured, tortured soul. <sighs> I'm not even gonna talk about the worst thing that can happen in this fight. Because every time I do that, I jinx myself, so. Not jinxing myself today. Physical attacks are the best thing he can do. A couple saps in. Okay. That's not great. Okay. Attack. Attack. Definitely heal Jessica up. Okay, manageable. Psych. Probably should he safety heal here. Psych. All right. Good thing I safety healed. Psych. Psych. Like attack and heal you. Just don't attack hero, please. Right. Summon adds pretty early, um, which makes the fight a bit slow, but we were able to handle it just fine. Played it pretty safe using some herbs. So the worst thing you can do is uh, sp spam sizzle and then, well, he can open up with adds the first turn and then spam sizzle. He did use the adds like the second turn, and I think he only used sizzle once, but thankfully the fight was manageable. I think Tortured Soul had a voice on PS2, I don't remember.
maybe next DQ8 RTA or DQ uh, RTA. And do 100%. Oh, on PS2. Should take about 40 hours. So we kind of took care of what Angelo was asking for. We ended up at the back, reaching or seeing Maybe. Abbott, the Abbott. Yeah. Obviously, our intentions the, uh, I own you. Who is it? You sent. Come in. Weren't bad. Marcel is bringing us in. Finds us pretty suspicious. I have a. We've just. They wounded. <laughs> Very. My God, unless it... And would you Templar and... <laughs> what? Someone's... Go! We... I should... I... That seemed like it hurts. <laughs> Wait. Fine. You've... Won. What did you... <gasps> What is it? We found what? Well, now that he knows that we're traveling with this monster, well, well, it's a little bit more suspicious. <laughs> you are in. It was the thought you take these. Come. The next boss fight, which is a common run under, is just completely RNG. And you'll see why soon. It's a very painful boss fight. And we have to fight it in such a way because we're only level 12. I see the Yeah, good old trap box. Actually, gonna take another backup photo. Like right right here. And, uh, come on. Well. There. If I would, I could. Kid. Like I. Sorry, I couldn't. The man, that's what. That's all. Are you? True, I. Because I must. Numbers. This leave. The thing about Marcelo is that in the 3DS version, they add a little bit of a, some side story at the end to try to. I guess make him redeemable. But it, it's kind of cool. He does uh, have a. Does a little cameo at the end that's completely new to the 3DS version. Oh dear. Are you... 
Prince. Whatever. You'd have to work. So this. Good old purple Mario. The bridge. Surely that Absolute reason, uh, inspiration why I run this game. Mirror wing. We uh, Abby. Riding on a bus. Riding on a bus. Yeah! We're riding on a bus. We're also running. Through a, through a bridge on fire. So, which is more impactful, the power of friendship or Yangus's head? What happened? Who on earth? Jesus. Upstairs. Thanks. That looked like it hurt. Oh, there goes Omegas again, killing people. And another window broken. Domegas! When will this stop, man? Is there no end to your evil?
Ah, you're a woman. I realize if it were. Anyway, see you later. Yeah, true ending means I'll be fighting the post-game dragon and grabbing the Argon Ring. It's usually an hour longer than any percent. <laughs> yeah, that is true. They they both got hammered to the, the brick walls. Very well. One of them does not need bandages, though. Of you're ending, nah, you don't have to fight all the monsters. Okay. Okay, now we can do Pickham. And I'm gonna ask you guys for a prediction right after I do the Pickham story. Some nice things you can do with the quick menu in the bottom left. You can uh, zoom quickly here. So I wanna zoom to Pickham. Ooh, that is pretty generous, Sans. Oh, that'd be nice. I'd be super happy. Well? So, See, I don't think I need to do anything here other than just story. This is the first town where you can actually do casino. But no casino needed for the speedrun. Maybe next marathon. So this town is actually is where uh, Yangus is from. And we're looking for somebody named Brain. Well, uh, Brains. Let's see if he can help us find Omegas. But we find out that he is not there. There is a Dragon Quest speedrun that uses Casino, though, and it, and it is the uh, DQ6 DS run. Hmm. 
Um, oh. What was that? Now, we got some bad news. Medea has been horse-napped. So now we have a new problem. Kinda nice, we got a thousand gold here for free. It's a good check of my name. After doing some investigating, we're gonna find out that red actually has Medea. I'm not gonna go to red right away, but we will go straight to trap box. My next destination is the Swordsman Lambreth, where I will be fighting Trapbox. I kind of want to take another backup photo there just to ensure that I have all the stamps that I need. the treasure that we're after in order to get Medea back oh perfect
we need to trade Red the Venus tier, or she'll be asking for the Venus tier, and we have to go through the dungeon to get it. So Trap Box is probably the most RNG heavy fight in the speedrun. Because I'm relying on a Jessica skill called a, a Toxic Dagger. It has a 12% chance to poison Trap Box. Which is where I have a question for you guys, or a, rather a prediction. Um, request for fun. So, chat, how many tries will it take Jessica to poison Trap Box? There's a 12% chance for Jessica to poison Trap Box. You probably, you know, give yourself between 1 and 30. Obviously, 1 is ideal. Oh, let's not get into encounters. But go ahead and predict. How many tries will it take Jessica to poison Trap Box? Whoever gets it exactly right will win tacos. I shall hand, I shall mail them. Okay, I'm seeing one, I'm seeing two. Oh, 17. I hope not. But maybe. But you might see a few resets, because that's this just that's just the nature of this boss. But it all comes down to Jessica. Between 1 and 30. If we somehow reach 30, we are. certainly be a run. Okay, let's remove Hero's spear and then put a knife on Jessica. Oops. Okay, guys. Praying to, uh, The RNG. Want Angelo to heal. I'm gonna have you defend. All right, let's start counting. Ooh, crackle's not good. One. Well, sorry to the people who believed first try. Don't think that was a lot, though. Ooh, Jessica was the only one who fell asleep. That's a bummer. Oh, this is going to be a little bit challenging. Jessica falls into a deeper sleep. Nice. Okay, that's not good. Might as well reset here, but i uh, still waiting for Jessica to wake up. Still waiting for Jessica to wake up. <laughs> Three crits in a row? This guy is crazy. Oh, we're still stuck at one. So the next hit will be two. Decides to put Jessica to sleep and then just crit everybody to death. <clears throat> okay, show no mercy, focus on healing. 
Okay. <laughs> Cut it out. Two. We're at number two. Next one's three. Nice crit. Take it easy. Three. Four. Oh, wow. Oh, Jessica woke up. That's good. Five. And there she goes again. I'm probably dead here. Six. Seven. <laughs> oh, rip Jessica. This is the way trap box goes. Thank goodness for the safety saves. <laughs> I think we're at eight. I think we're at number eight, right? Only eight attempts with three tries, that's not good. Eight. Yep, just attack hero. Nine. He's attack hero because he's the only one, he's the one who's defending champion. Ten. Eleven. Stop with the crackle spam. Twelve. Really like trap box just to keep attacking hero. Okay, I think we're at thirteen now. Show no mercy, focus on healing. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I think we're at 14 right now. I think we're at 14, number 14.
And what sucks is that I'm having to reset a lot just to get, just with these 14 attempts. Fourteen. Well, the two important people then. Fifteen. Come on, Jessica. You have to put an end to this right now. Right now. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty? No. Lucky number 21. Here we go, 21. Nah. Okay, that's good. Another attempt, 22. Yes! 22! Did anyone actually guess 22? It was actually, this was going to be in shape to be one of the worst. I think I've had worse, but, uh, yeah. Well, congratulations, uh, we'll have some tacos delivered. But who, this was some really bad luck. 22, plus a bunch of resets. As you can see, the poison does a lot of damage, about 10% of his health. No 22s. There we go. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Somehow. I'm comparing against my average splits. I lost about 10 minutes there. All right. It was actually like 40 seconds within my average and then this fight just made it, whoop. Maybe we'll get some better luck with the slimes. So trap box and the slimes are the really the RNG game breakers. So I have to deal with another RNG section, which is the metal slime grinds. Hopefully we can get better luck over there. I guess that's a good way to look at it. It didn't take 30 tries. <laughs> Are they just... Yeah. Don't... Skip. 
Dos. There's red. Oh, she's gonna ask us to get the Venus tier. I mean, we obviously have it already, but we're gonna pretend to go get it. I think entering and exiting for 30 seconds shall make it believable. Should be all the photos I need for the double bubble. So in order to get the double bubble, I need 15 stamps. And what the double bubble does is it uh, doubles my experience for 10 fights. So I'm gonna use it to kill 10 liquids. It's gonna be about, let's see, a slime gives 10,000 experience, give or take. I'm gonna be about 200,000 experience. Yeah, thankfully it counts. It only counts when you win the fight. It, the uh, if it runs away, it doesn't count. Thankfully. find out that uh, he has gone to another continent and to reach him we need a ship and there's one right by Trodane nope wrong area By an axe, so I can use Yangus's credibility. Oops.
All right, 16 stamps, just enough for a double bubble. There's an item that I want to pick up inside the well. It's the slime crown. Worth a lot of gold. Again, gold is very important to me in this route. <clears throat> They added voice acting to the slimes here in the well. Brings me joy. Those hands are really fast. Got lucky there. Jordan's close by, a little bit north of the area. So we see the boat here, but it's stuck on the land. Maybe in Trodane we can find out more information on how we can get this onto the sea.
almost there. It's just a short little path, and we've reached Trodane. Trodane is usually a run, a place where uh, we call it the graveyard of the DQ8 speedruns. Because our runs and the slime grinds, both PS2 and 3DS. It's also fitting that it has the sad music playing. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of a background on what happened here in Trodane. Hmm. I guess. So the detail in this cutscene is that they always, they're, they're covering Medea's face and Shrode as well. The scepter seems really, seems poorly guarded, I don't know. She does.
Sad music starts playing, you know what time it is. Yeah, the scene shows that the uh, Trode, King Trode got turned into, a, I guess, a troll. And then Medea turned into a horse. Yeah, Princess Medea is actually the true MVP of this run, carrying the pot, carrying everything. Alright, Ellie, don't forget to put on the spear before you start grinding. Now, the thing about the grind is, uh, well, there's a, there's a certain spot I'll rotate the camera to grind, but um, the first two is really difficult. I'm relying on a 12% crit chance, because I'm only using the basic uh, crit abilities from... Oh, there's a slime, there's a slime! Uh... Equip the spear on hero. This is seat of skill on hero. Use the double bubble. Oh, here's our first shot. Really difficult to get the first two kills because of our low crit chance. Mercy, it's magic. Oh, it's stuck around, so we have a shot. Aw, come on, yeah, I guess. Aw. Well, no luck there. I wouldn't mind a nice slime grind with what happened with Trapbox, you know? This is the hallway I'm going to spawn the slimes. You see, I can turn the camera around until I see a slime. That stuck around again. Oh, nice! Nice going, hero. That's one, uh, first out of the two, the diff one out of the two difficult ones. Okay. As you can see, I'm gaining a whole bunch of levels. I 
hero just jumped six levels there. I think the liquids have seven in this version, six or seven. Okay, not bad, not bad. Stuck around again? Not this time, hero. <laughs> Stuck around again, okay. Come on! Oh. Third try? Wow, this guy is being very generous. One damage. <laughs> Aw. Four! Okay. This guy just wants to die, I see. No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we killed him just by <laughs> one damage, one damaging him. <laughs> wow, it's kind of crazy. It's actually kind of crazy. You don't see that every day. I'll take it. Getting the first two is the hardest. Why is Hero normal attacking? Oh, thank you, Yangus. Thank you. Yeah, there's a chance where, um, even with Show No Mercy, Hero or Yangus will go for a normal attack. Thankfully, Yangus backed that up. I have my full crit abilities now, which means uh, I have a 38% 30, chance to crit him instead of 12, significantly higher now. So it speeds up the grind. Here's our first flea, or first tr first turn flea. Slime has been nice sticking around. We need a total of ten, so we are three out of uh, three out of ten.
Oh, I can't uh, recall my fastest grind here. Ooh, is this a case of hit and run? No, nope. stuck around. All right, go get him, guys. <laughs> Normal attack. Nice, Kaishi no Chigeki. Number four. Did I despawn a slime by accident? Oh, he's a single slime in Trodane. Alright, we are halfway there, folks. The grind will have Hero end up being level 32. Number six, we are on a roll. Bang. <clears throat> I think she joins at a, yeah, they join at a predetermined level. I forget what level it is. I think it's 30 something. Nice. Yeah, I just forget what level she joins. Is it 32? I think it's 32. Maybe 34, 33. <laughs> 30 something. So no reason for me to use the skill points until uh, I'm done with the grinds. Another nice feature they added, you can save up your skill points, choose. Not only can you save up your skill points, you can actually see what you're building towards.
All right, Slime, where are you? Crit luck was doing okay. <clears throat> Looks like we're in a little bit of a drought now. I was hoping we can keep the ball rolling, but uh past three have been poor. on pace to have one of the be better grinds I've had for a while. But looks like it's starting to even out here. Right now, I need three more kills, and here, here will be once Heroes 32, I'm done. Okay, another chance. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, now I'm starting to get unlucky. Another chance. Come on, just all you have to do is land your crit, guys. You're doing so well. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> Two more. sure the exact percentage of the slimes appearing on ps2 it's 15 percent, so i'm gonna guess that it's 15 percent every time i try to respawn one um the slimes are in a way 50 percent of the time too so it's a, it's a coin flip whether they stay or not and then my crit chances are 38 percent so the odds aren't really the best The thing that makes it really manageable is that I can see the slimes on screen. I can force an encounter. In reality, the credibility is 50%. But the slimes have a 12.5% uh, dodge. So taking that into the factor oops, makes it roughly 38% to la actually land a crit.
Oh. Not that time. Where's my chance to surprise the slime? I wouldn't mind some back attacks. We had two ambushes from the slimes already. First seven have been amazing, but these last three, these slimes are quite stingy. Oh my gosh, purple! No more bump and runs. Yo. Nice, Kaishin. One more to go. Slime sticking around for yes, all right. That takes care of the grind. That is number 10. Man, I really thought this this grind was gonna be really good until the last the last few minutes. But that's all right. I'd say this grind was, yeah, actually, I'd probably call it above average. I think what we should do is we should probably distribute the points. Um, at some point, I want Hero to learn Omni Heal, so we're going to work towards uh, Courage. Have Yangus focus on his axe. Have you learn Finne. Angelo is primarily going to be a support character. Uh, we're going to give him uh, Oomph. Jessica will also be a support character. Fortunately, she's not as good as her PS2 version. She still has things like uh, oomph.
What's nice is that now that I'm high level, I'm gonna have uh, the, abil uh, the ability to remove random encounters from the fields with holy protection for quite a while, actually, for the next uh, couple hours. As long as heroes level is higher than the area. The uh, enemies levels you can just straight up negate them. Thanks, Shadow. Mm -hmm. what? what on earth? So killing the slimes will give me all the levels I need to beat the game. The rest of the experience I'll just be get grabbing from the bosses. Back to his camp. <clears throat> if you guys love Dragon Quest VIII, you should definitely follow uh, Purple Mario here. A wonderful friend of mine, and he's been putting a lot of work into this game. He has done excellent work with this game. One of the reasons why I run this game. I'll have to talk strategies about this here and there. We also um, we also did an in-person race of, of the 3DS version at the uh, RPG Limit Break event. That was an awesome experience. Yeah, even though we're under leveled, we can get through the end game. It's kind of like it's it's kind of the, like it's, it's how you describe a lot of the end game Dragon Quest, because you know you're fighting the bosses at quite a low level, but as long as you have a good equipment setup and uh, the right skills you can manage, you can survive. So in the case of Dragon Quest VIII, uh, manage, managing your equipment, um, putting the right points into the skills like Omni Heal or, or Axes. 
using oomph and sap. This is another classic Dragon Quest tragedy. We'll put you, uh, we'll set you up for success. Oh yeah, also using uh, tension. The vault. When you use tension in this game, you want to use 20 tension or better. It's never worth uh, using 5. Except for some specific scenarios. Where you know that 5 tension will actually be lethal. You definitely want to go for 20, 50, or 100 tension. Those multipliers are, are worth it. Oh my gosh, you have a Lorenzo emote? Oh my goodness, I've been missing out. That's amazing. Well, I think if you want to play this game on the 3D, I, well, yeah, the eShop is closed. I know I've been giving warnings to people um, when I've been playing this game that but if you want to get Dragon Quests on the eShop, you better do it before uh, the, it closes. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have to buy like a card online, which probably is expensive now. I'm not sure how much DQ8 is going for. But the carts, like DS carts, have been so expensive like the past few years, so I imagine it's not cheap. I really don't like that holy protection is right next to evac. I've definitely done it once or twice. <laughs> Accidentally evacuate a dungeon. Because I was trying to cast holy protection. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm done. Can I hit? Ah! 
Ah, jump back! You've come to steal my harp? That ain't here. Because I'm over level, this is a pretty easy fight. Take care of the uh, ads first with zap and boom. Okay. Balance them all down, not too bad. Yeah, there's a huge list of things that just makes the speed run a lot faster than its PS2 counterpart. Really, the biggest thing is the, seeing the random encounters on the fields, making the grind easier. Got the speed up animations, you got fast alchemy pot, the way skill points work, and then more to that list. Red will make a huge impact when she joins. Yeah, I was super happy when DQ11S came out on the Switch. That was, uh, you know, not only being able to play it portably, but, man, all its quality of life features, too. <laughs> they also released DQ1, 2, and 3, which is the mobile port on the Switch. And those were good, too. It's better than playing it on your phone. <clears throat> yeah, the, the Dragon Warrior Game Boy Color is, or the Game Boy Color version was excellent. No. This, I'm. Actually, now is a good time for me to use the bathroom. It's been a while. Uh, no.
full of the beauty prince. Now it is time for us to part. I will sing to bless your journey on the ancient ocean, my children. Yeah, that's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, I think magic is like the perfect explanation. So we were looking for a way to get the boat into the sea and uh, Ishmari, the guy who was playing the harp, first of all, we had to grab the harp from Don Mole. Um, looks like uh, he helped us bring the boat into sea. Now, how are the oars moving and how can they float in the water? That I'm not sure. But we got a boat, that's all that matters. I mean, that makes sense, because Ishmari has the power to recall memories. I think that's his thing. Now that we have the boat, it's gonna be uh, the relaxing part of the run. I'm gonna be chill for the next hour. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm pretty much gonna be grabbing the return points, do a lot of walking and exploring. First stop is going to be the a little 
little sea view church at the edge of the cliff straight ahead. This is a forced encounter. Let's let's have fun with the AI. See what they do. Got a frizzle. Flame slash. My boat does have a horn, what are you talking about? Actually, go to the Pirates Cove here next. I was saying earlier in the run that uh, this is, I played this game back in middle school, I, it's one of the best experiences ever. I think I did. 
Definitely use the walkthrough for like the post game, I think. Actually, let's go to the, uh, go to Baccarat. <laughs> oh, nope, that's not the right place. <laughs> nice stroll to Baccarat. Backrat's the other city with the casino. We got Pickham and Backrat. Hey, headphone, thank you. Hey, green tank. A little bit of shopping here. I'm gonna get a poison needle and a couple other things for alchemy stuff. Poison needle, and then we want the coral hair. I'm gonna head to the dark rooms where we find out that Domegas is actually hanging out there. And we don't have access, and we can't get in. Because of some mysterious darkness power thing. <laughs> I think there's some nice equipment you can win in the casino 
which includes Jessica's best whip. I believe. So I had a story trigger at Baccarat, I'm going to activate another story trigger here, and then I can do the Argonian quest. So in order to get through the lair here, I need a mirror. I'm going to have to go through uh, Charmelay's quest to get the mirror. Argonia. But I forgot a couple chests that I need to pick up in here. Hey, Sam. couple things from this guy. A couple of bandanas. Thank you. 
have reached Argonia. I'm probably gonna have to use the inn here. because I took the extra time to grab the chests. You know what, maybe not. Maybe yes. You know what? We, we go do the Sage's story first before we actually even ta do the, uh, or talk to the king. So using the end to uh, reset the night and day cycle, hoping that I would not get blocked by the guards. There is another step um, to getting the mirror to work, and I and that requires me to talk to the sage. A little bit of a walk. That's something I still need to do, regardless. the beauty of holy protection don't have to worry about a single monster ah Sage lives with a slime. I wonder what it's like to live with a slime. The edge of this cliff is more money. 
1,500 gold, it's a good chunk. There is one blue chest that I'm gonna pick up right here, and I... It's amazing if it's a gold nugget, that's what we hope that it is, otherwise everything else is useless. Come on, gold nugget! Aww. Not only does the gold nugget get, it's us, not only is it like 5,000 gold, it actually gives Yangus a uh, decent weapon for the mid game. Guys, and then I can sell it for a lot of money later. Of but that's okay. Uh -huh. Please. Yeah, that's an honest answer. I need all the golds. Everybody's gonna see me grabbing the gold chests. I... And then selling equipment to no. get more gold. Really? Go! What are... I can't get in. Go! There's Medea. What's wrong? Or is it? No, come here. Oh, I'm. Oh no, I'm just. That's. Father. Medea. Oh. Ah oh, man. The, the magic just wasn't stable enough because she's a horse. No, uh, no saber cat this run, unfortunately. actually very well. Okay, now I can go back to Argonia.
Got a nice piece of armor for Angelo, and it's gonna alchemize those axes that I just bought. This could be possible foreshadowing. I would say they're a big deal. You want to invest into crit skills? So we got it. We have to do the metal. We have to kill metal slimes, and we also want to invest in points and do a lot of damage. Yangus, his axe tree is huge for us. To be cut as a fun, it is that I was so it is. What the prince, I'll bring you wait, please. Get some munchie action. It's been a while. It's been almost three hours. We gotta do the marathon safe strat of uh, bonking the lizard. Oh, not quite. We want the mirror. Have to walk Charmley through the hunting grounds. Gotta grab an Argonian heart.
Lizard Hamor. Hey, Kafka, welcome. Gonna do a little bit of alchemizing before we actually do the hunting ground. I also picked up some decent equipment along the way. Let's start equipping some of them. a couple of thieves keys here. This hat that I'm making for Yangus has a nice uh, strength boost, so it'll give him more attack power. This is a, I believe this is a 3DS exclusive item. Dog's body hood. Okay, and then... Mercury and Pantana. All I need to make here. Let's put on the uh, hammer. Jessica. Actually, it's probably best that I should organize my items. Here we go. Alright. 
Ideally, I defeat this guy in two turns. Usually that requires a little bit of decent RNG. That's the worst thing you can do because it uh, delays a party member by one turn. So I have to rest here. Parallax sap. So this is definitely a three turner. That's a little bit rough. Jessica has a little bit charm. So some enemies have a chance to lose a turn because of it. Yeah, Holy Protection is nice, and Padfoot's nice, too. Reduce the amount of encounters. Let's see if we can get a better second fight. Down Yangus. If Yangus didn't get knocked down, we might have gotten him. One more lizard before I fight the big one.
did something other than uh, knocking my party down first turn. He outsped the lizard. Oh, but he dodged it. <laughs> no two turn lizard fights today. Wake up! I was, I was picking my nut. Er, I was picking some flowers. Not a threatening boss. Get a couple saps in. Oofy Angus and call it a day. Let's see if this is enough. Multi thrust. Parallax. Move Mr. Yanks. Falcon Slash. Don't you dare outspeed Jessica Yangus. Don't you do it. What we needed here, back to Argonia. Ja, guten Morgen, HS. Step closer to fighting Domegas, all we need to do is actually power up the mirror. And the sage advised us we need to find something to help us do that. A monster, rather. Charmley decides to trade the Argon Heart that we. Just killed the, the big Argon lizard for. Or rather, we we just worked hard for. He's trying to impress. His dad. 
there. myself a tough guy tattoo. I have enough money for three gold rings. Perfect. I need to remind myself to equip that uh, tough guy tattoo for Yangus later. Just enough gold, 500 to spare. Actually, gonna give the dad the lizard heart that we actually Ice. won. Ice. I see. Why? I feel. How am the man? And because this is true ending percent, that that lizard heart. Actually, no. Uh, the normal ending actually plays it out. He does use the lizard heart there. Elfin elixirs I can grab in this game, I'll definitely grab this one. This doesn't take too long. Alright, let's start alchemizing some things. Let's start with the demon spear. That poison needle I bought at Baccarat, final piece that I need. make myself one life bracer and one agility ring. The life bracer is a must-have, especially for Jessica. She's really 
she's a character that has low HP pull, so um, having a accessory that gives her life. 30 plus HP is pretty significant. <clears throat> you can really see the power of instant alchemy. light shields. Fresh milk. Pretty much preparing myself for Domegas. I'm gonna have a pretty decent equipment for the fight. give that tough guy tattoo to Yangus. Elfin elixir to Yangus. Okay. We are pretty much prepared for Mr. Domegas. Let's power up that mirror, and then we'll take him on. You know, I'd say the run's going pretty decent. Uh, comparing to my average splits, I'm roughly 10 minutes behind the average. Kind of, in summary, the RNG has been kind of funky with the Metal Slime grind, or the initial Metal Slime, where the, the small Metal Slimes and then Trap Box to 22 tries. <laughs> The dark all so you might I don't know right You know, if you're like playing Dragon Quest for the, or this game for the first time, 
That was your first Dragon Quest. You wonder, like, am I getting close to the end? Is this, like, the final fight? And you realize it's like, no, you're not, not even close. As you can see, I'm still high enough level to negate the encounters in here with Holy Protection. So that's nice. This dungeon has, like, some narrow paths to walk through. Having to avoid encounters... Or having to dodge him would be... Pretty annoying. Party is going to be around mid 30s for the final fight. No, I can't. I don't think I've used DLC in this game before. In DQ11. Oh, casually. Uh. Thing. People were in their 40s when they were fighting the final fight? That's my guess. I don't remember what level I was. I wonder if anyone has ever grinded to level... Oh, well, I'm sure people have. Uh, grinded to level 99 on PS2 version. Because that seemed like it would take forever. I think the highest level I've ever gotten on PS2 was like 70 or 80 or 70, 79 or 80, low 80s. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. Slime Hill and Dragon Graveyard. I've done a few Ultimate Dragon speedruns, now that I've found out that, um, really, the lowest, or the lowest level you can beat Ultimate Dragon is on, in, on your low 40s. So now it's like, I don't have a reason to grind above. Above 40 in terms of speedrunning.
Let's see, I think, yeah, I picked up the urn. I'm just gonna double check my inventory. Step on the puddle to heal, and then we'll fight Domegas. Domegas 1 and 2, not too difficult of a fight just because of my levels. With multi-heal, which Angela learns at level 30, makes the fight significantly uh, easier. There's I'm but... It's been a while since we saved, so let's go ahead and uh, get a quick save in. Such a pity! We're gonna have Hero and Yangus build up to 50 here, as usual. Let's accelerate our party, go with Mr. Yangus. Always opens the turn with uh, spawning clones. What's so funny, Domegas? Multi heal. <laughs> Interesting RNG thus far. Uh, Parallax, the middle one, Psych. Very, very interesting pattern, I must say. It's like the middle one, parallax, the middle one, kaboom. Second one here, and then multi heal. Good fight, though. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Holy cow, that was kind of fast. Not too shabby. <laughs> Second fight is... Maybe a little bit harder. I am gonna try a 20 tension, a 20 tension build up the first turns. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just do normal attacks.
What? <laughs> uh, this is the first boss that actually starts using something called a wave of ice, which eliminates all my buffs. And it's really this game's way of trying to negate your tension. See if we can sneak in some 20 attacks. He also has a chance to knock down my party as well. Most important thing is whenever a boss uses Wave of Ice, I want to get that accelerate right back up immediately. Boomph as well. Okay, it's just Yangus. It's fine. Psych. Sappin, hero. Hero's a little bit low, but I don't see him doing 150 damage on hero next turn. Okay, okay. Well, the good news is I will get a 20 tension attack off. Eight hundred damage. We'll take that. Let's do parallax. Wow, she got boat saps in. We're in really good shape. They'll say we're in pretty good shape, even with that wave of ice. Accelerate. Mr. Yankees. Just because of that double sap. He's really close to dying here. Right, another good fight. They'll make us one and two, no problem for us.
We die our best. Now, uh, how about... Hmm? Defeating... Yo! You mean me? Uh oh, Jessica picking up the scepter is not good news for us. Rot row shaggy. Jessica's gone missing. Our next destination is going to be... Shoot, what's the name of that? <laughs> what's the name of the next town? Arcadia. That's the name of the town. So this is the part of the story where the scepter starts flying around and starts possessing people. Remember that the scepter the one who is in control of the scepter's their journey is to try and kill all the uh, hairs of the sages. And the next one is right here at, uh, at Arcadia. Ah, there you are. Don't come up. I don't know. What? Mo. Ah. Please. What? Can't be. Stop. Wow. 
Yo, Azure, thank you. I'm using an actual 3DS capture card. The software that uses it does a pretty good job of uh, or rescaling it, whatever you want to call it. Why are you so evil, Jessica? Actually, this guy's another jerk. Yeah, Dev? I think so. So something I can get out tend to forget sometimes is picking up the sword from uh, this guy, which I need to access the tower. I didn't forget this time, so... Stone sword acquired. I think uh, I don't need to pick up the seed of life here. Right. So Domenico sent us on a quest to go find some jewels. I think in English they, they call it cock, cock spaniels or something like that. But we have to <laughs> ravage through a couple towers. A lot of them we're familiar with. Uh, this one we're going to go through Rhydon's Tower, which is a set of puzzles. The good news is uh, we're going to get some relaxing music as we climb through these towers. Fortunately, my holy protection uh, is going to start losing its effects soon. It's important that I pick up the chests, which used to be maps on the PS2 version. On 3DS, they replaced it with gold. So, 3,000 gold, which is a, another good chunk of change. You need to collect all the golds, not only for shopping, but for a certain ability that Red uses. through this tower first time casually is really rough.
Thankfully, they reduced the encounter rate in this dungeon. Bring the statue right here on this platform. Drag it right up. Right through the hero. And someday I have to find a consistent setup where I can f push the statue and fall at the same time with it once the tower goes down. You can do it if you get it at a right angle. You just need to find a good setup. Wait. No! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Get the stature off this thing. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, there's no way I can be s permanently. I, I can't be stuck here, can I? Okay, <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> I think we're all right.
Oh my goodness. I have never had trouble with that before. That's never happened before. I will make sure I'll never do that ever again. <laughs> Can't believe I lost like a couple minutes because of that. That's funny. I mean, if I did get softlock, what I would have to do is I would just have to redo the tower again. Or e back and redo it. I love how it works sometimes you uh, <clears throat> when you watch a speedrun, you know who needs a who needs a walkthrough or a guy just watch a speedrun and you're set. <laughs> So many things I didn't know about games until I watched a speedrun of it. Just clip through the wall. Oh, that's how you get through this dungeon. Ma'am, it appears that you have dropped your eyes. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Jessica can be a little bit tough just because of the RNG aspect. The one thing that she can do is just she can put my characters to sleep. Now, my route doesn't, ha I don't have any sleep protection, so. I just have to pray that I don't fall asleep.
fighter, I'll call him that. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, my head sucks. Come. Domenico wants us to find a book of spells. Also, there's some uh, good treasure here. Nice piece of armor for Angelo and some money. Okay, let's slap that magical vestment into uh, Angelo and give Hero the silver mail. Bubba bus. Fire foo and bubbling goo. Gonna do another safety save here just by the off chance I actually die to Jessica, because you don't want to be losing half your golds. All right, Jessica, what you got? Premise of the fight, I snooze, I lose. Angelo does have protection, I'm gonna use bounce in the beginning here. Attacks are good. Yep, physical attacks are amazing. Sizzle's good. She'll do some damage to herself because of bounce. Ooh, another physical attack. Nice. It's actually oof, hero here. Wow. That's that's a start. No ads or I guess I am a little bit worried about Yankus's HP though. Need Yangus to go first. Attack. Oops. Parallax. Come on. Okay, good. Oh, got 700 damage off. Nice. Wow, she's being so nice right now. I'm actually shocked. No ads, no snooze. I don't know if I've seen that before. That's that's a perfect fight right there. Wow, where are those in, <laughs> for my PV runs?
Well, I'm a go. Finisher. We go. Oh, tell me. Well, and go. Conceit. Very well. Wait. 250 tension attacks right at the start. Both landed on Jessica. Both oomped. And no ads, no snooze. I heard she told the I didn't. But apparently. I'm sure. You think? That I was. I'm sure. Because she was possessed by the staff, she has some knowledge of what's going on. No, David, we have to come on. Gotta save David. Unfortunately, we're only just finding out that David is one of those sage's hairs. Sizzle ca crackle. Just can't, I can't forgive Dominica. Go ahead and start using Padfoot. 
On PS2, Padfoot reduces the amount of encounter rates. What it does for the 3DS is that it doesn't attract enemies. Enemies won't be attracted to you. It could be pretty useful for trying to navigate through very narrow areas. the snowy part of uh, the world. Go through Marta's story here. That's the kind of dog I want. That dog. What a dog. Hi, honest. So Marta and uh, the dog, at Boris, saved us from the avalanche, and I know that she has a son as well. If we find her son, deliver that tea bag to him. Be needing the chests, I can just head straight to the next town. Nice try.
want to make sure I register register myself that I'm actually inside the room. You're usually alright if you just go to the table here and leave. And just for confirmation that we went into the room. I've lost a run because I didn't register myself with the with the room. <laughs> and you head all the way inside the cave. And the scene won't trigger. The next two dungeons are a little bit difficult to navigate through. Just because of the, the padding. Making it a little bit harder to uh, dodge monsters. So now would be a good time to utilize backwards running. If I can keep the enemies behind me, that'll make it easier for me to walk around. seed of life that I want. Oh! Well played. I have to trigger some icicles to build a bridge and some a couple times here.
And this is the last room to navigate through. Hey, Sin. Welcome, welcome. Things are good. Things are good. Hope you are too. We get to see Munchie third time in action. I'm not rolling because it speeds me up. I'm rolling because it's fun. All right, Merrick, we got the goods. Done with this place. I'm gonna let the AI take over here. They usually take him out in one turn. The regular says. What I can't.
first I ash, so she, so, and ash, then I come. That's what good I mean. Forgive you, it said, well, now I am. Oh, Merrick know, now knows that uh, Marta has his back. And have him visit Marta here soon. Sorry. Oh, he has to see a little bit. Someone's sick. Oh, these dogs have no manners. They eat. What was I? Got him. Babushka. If you were watching DQ8 last year in the marathon, they, uh, they were running a PS2 version, and this fight was pretty laggy. So there's a lot going on in the background. 3DS is, forms a little bit better. <laughs> oh, full heal. Wow. Yank is styling on the dog.
that. Uh, oh, yo. The gap. Believe. And unfortunately, what? another one falls victim to. to Raftorn. If the end, there are. it is. if end. When will his evil end? In that cutscene, Marta gives Hero the ultimate key, so that means we have we can pretty much open anything that we want. Those items that I just picked up is going to be used to sell. Now we head to the Pirate's Cove. So from what I can tell, Rod, um, turning off voices doesn't really make that much of a difference in terms of time. At least from what I can tell. want to get a good time in this game, you really have to mash through uh, the text really well. On 3DS, the way to mash through text, what, what, uh, what runners do is they mash, they just mash all the buttons. Whoops. A little bit different on PS2, where you have to hold up and spam triangle. Trying to whack the hero.
Captain Crow is just another one of those RNG fights. I mean, either it could go well or it can go poorly. We do have a solid strategy for it to try to control uh, some of his actions. But uh, most of that fight is just a tension battle. Who can stop each other from using tension first? Alright, for safety, I need to put Jessica's equipment back on. Okay, that should be good enough. Captain Crow can be a bit unpredictable sometimes. Fiangus, just gotta accelerate off. Wave of ice. <laughs> and then you tension up. Hey, that's kinda 
That is kind of brutal, actually. Move Fiangus. I guess I'll try to accelerate here. Oh, he's at 100 tension. I'm really hoping this Puff Puff lands. He's not interested. Wave of ice? Wow. Oh, and then he falls in love. Okay. <laughs> so basically nothing happened the first five turns. Trying to build some tension here, but he won't let me. Uh, did I yeah, I think I did. Okay, sap. Interesting. We should get a 50 tension hero in uh, Yangus here, as long as he doesn't wave. I can't tell what he's doing now. Okay, good. Play thrust, parallax, we can move hero. Maybe we can try another puff puff. Not interested. Forty-three. Hundred tension. <laughs> he tries to psych himself again, but it does not work. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Maybe we can win next turn here. Got him again. Alright, let's finish him. Oh, his sap actually fell off. Uh, maybe we can sap him here. That was a strange fight. Not sure how else to put it. Because normally he just tensions to 50 or 100, does his normal attack, and then wave of ice, but he was all over the place today. Red joins the party on the 3DS version. She's gonna be awesome. Super useful character for all these endgame bosses. Without her, the speedrun would be big time struggle. Okay, let's get out of here. 
Our next destination is gonna be, uh... Let's see... I want to zoom to... Paragon Quay. Or Imperia's land. Or Empichu. And the only way to get there is by using the sea chart, illuminated sea chart that we just got from beating Captain Crow. We're, af we're after somebody who can fly, so we need to find the power to fly as well. And we can find it at Empichu. Have to go between these rocks to activate the chart. All right, here we go. Can probably wait before Imperia to actually go ahead and do the equipment menu. So let's go ahead and wait. All right, we got to follow this path or else we have to watch the cutscene again. All right, I'm going to take a small break here. Be right back. Enjoy the cutscene.
There's a small village a little bit north here. That's where I'm heading right now. Let's reapply Angus's pad foot. I think my gold is going to be a little bit tight, tighter than normal, like a couple thousand gold. Now that Red joined my party, she's going to be extremely useful. For the next few fights, she has a lot of uh, utility on her. She also has one of the best moves in terms of just dealing straight up damage in one turn. She has a move called Dos, Dosh Toss, which co which costs gold, but every round I can do 500 damage. And the most en enemies and bosses don't have protection against it. So just being able to do 500 damage per turn is really OP. She also has Accelerate and Revive. So that's where her utility comes in. We were told by the townsfolk, just follow this shadow here. And that's what we're gonna do. On the PS2 version, it could be pretty hard to keep up with the bird. But they made it easier to keep track of here. And actually split paths to oh, to grab a chest.
Unfortunately, I still have to wait for the bird till it reaches the hill for the scene to trigger. Oh, hey, it's a random slime just hanging around. are in the world called the world of darkness. some shopping here. Yeah, I would say this game is definitely... Well, I'd say it's much slower paced than DQ11. Sell the maze poncho. Sell the bone shield as well. Just give us some money for the dash toss for the next couple fights. There we go. Imperia is a super tough boss, one of the uh, harder bosses in the run. Our hope is that we can just make quick work of her with, uh, with Red. I'm going to try to sneak in some critical hits to save money. Just because I'm a little bit tight. But that can end up being pretty risky. 
but we're gonna do it anyway. All right, let's use the seat of skill on Hera. Champion, dance of life. Little bit closer and then we'll knock out that safety save. There you go. Alright, let's do it. Her defense is so high. Let's actually get red back in. I think the rest. That uh, crits and using Dosh Tosh is the best way to go about it. The quickest way as well. Nice crit. No, well, abort, abort the crits. <laughs> defend, defense, multi heal, and dosh. Can't crit because uh, I'm blind. And this is why we have bounce. Try to go for a crit with uh, Yangus. All right, cancel that. Wave of Ice is good. I don't have any buffs on. Oh, I, I guess I did have bounce on, but that's all right. Good. That fight was not stressful at all. <laughs> Everybody's keeping their uh, experience. Nobody died. It's important that Hero and Angelo lives. As I'm working my way uh, for Angelo, it's important that he gets Kazing. This is a pay to win game. You got it. Imperia was testing us 
what's really going on is that her, her egg... ...is being held, held uh, captive by Gemin. She wants us to go, uh, fell. save it. No, during my break I uh, grabbed myself a uh, protein bar. Because it is technically breakfast time. Oh yeah, Centaria? Awesome. I'm glad you finished. And this, to be fair, this game is really long. Definitely heard it plenty of times where people uh, stop at a certain point. Yeah, if Imperia actually fought us for real, I think she'd probably destroy us. Probably. Well. Yeah, DQ7 is also long. Even DQ6 as well. I, I have not beaten DQ6 yet. That's the one game I'm trying to beat. That one's long. For the most part, the boss fights in this run have been really good. You can't really complain too much. I'm pretty happy with the way the fights have been going. But we'll definitely see about the next couple fights here. As it doesn't get easier. Yep. 
I think Silver is run. He uh, did Chew Ending, which also uh, involves a horse skip. And interestingly enough, when you do the horse skip, the con you, you face a really interesting consequence where your party members are level one when you enter Act 3. Oh, better save. The one thing to worry about this boss is uh, if he gets crit happy, we can struggle. Uh, let's attack. Relax. Fingus. And accelerates. Psych up. Dash away. Not gonna kill the other ad. If I do, he's gonna respawn them again. Okay, good. Parallax off, multi heal. You'll see me switch between multi and omni heal. Gemin uh, does a. He has a 1 2 1 2 pattern. So he alternates between 1 and 2 turns. Good. Attack. Psych up. Multi heal here. Angelo is a little bit in danger, but he looks, he looks like he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And he'll psych Angus. Dosh. Nice. Well, this bird is uh, definitely dead. <laughs> Another pretty solid fight. Gammon was pretty nice, no crits today. It is, please, 
<laughs> when you say no, she's like, why would you deny the request of this bird? Thanks to her son, now we have the ability to fly. There's a couple things I want to pick up, though. Which, in my opinion, is the best item in the game. And uh, I don't think anything comes close. Thank you, sir. Taking my time here to grab the Conqueror's Axe, which is uh, Yangus's best axe. So that'll prove to be useful for the endgame. Oh yeah, trivia time. One opportunity you get a control trode. It's almost like controlling Rab. They both have excellent running animations.
I won't sleep. Oh, right away! Right away! As if it's cooking the bait. See Angelo's white shields. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, this is one of the bigger sharp shopping menus, Al alchemy menus. Let's see what can I sell here? Uh, feather cap. Sell the icicle dirk. There you go. One of my goals with this menu is to end up with a lot of gold. So I'm kind of looking at making 60,000 golds at the end of all of this. At the same time, I'm also making decent equipment for my folks. And here I'm going to make the Timberl of Tension. Magic Beast Hide. Oh, and we also want Yangus' tough guy tattoo. The not so macho in DQ7. That's really good trivia right there. That's awesome. here with that gold nugget that I picked up back in the previous dungeon so moon gold golden axe Moonaxe, 
Okay. I'm gonna have enough money to buy the bow here. The mirror shields. And flow and dress for red. During the run, I picked up a few bows. And this is my money maker right here, the Odin's bow. I'm gonna sell it for a lot of money. I'm gonna make the silver shield, a very nice shield for Angela. This dark tree leaf is a key item that I need in order to find uh, Raptorn. If I want to track down the dog, that leaf will tell me where he is. Let's go after him. You can see on the bottom left that uh, Sir Leopold is marked via the leaf.
because you can see the enemies on screen it makes it easier to grind for levels in this game so what they did to try to balance it balance it is they made the bosses a bit more difficult for example sir leopold here he's gonna he has a higher chance to crit easily one-shot my party with one attack if he is able to land a crit. You're bad, Ted. And Mar Marcel is the same way. He's way scarier in this version compared to PS2. The good news is we have the Timberlift Tension. So that'll help us a little bit. All right, let's do it. Sir Leopold, what do you have? I'm gonna swap in Jessica for one turn so she can get a magic barrier off. Give some knockdown resistance. Magic barrier. Accelerate. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, I think red's down? Continue to defend with a uh, hero. I, have to, I guess I'll go for the sap here. Okay, all right, all right. Abandoned plan. Let's defend. Back Jessica. Somebody heal and dance of life. Try to restart, reset ourselves. <clears throat> we just need Sir Leopold to calm down with his crits. <laughs> Attack a man while he's down. Alright, we're on the board. Wow, he's going uh, ham with this uh, knockdown. Okay. Let's parallax. Uh, 
Frizzle off. Fortunately, no sap this round. Good. A little sketchy start at the, at the beginning there. No, we were able to recover. An important spell that Angelo just learned there is Kazing, so now we have two guaranteed reses. One from Red with their Dance of Life, and the other with Angelo. So that if the bosses decide to go ham on us, we have some recovery tools. Enough of them. What an end. I was away. What? Arrest them. Marcelo's laugh still cracks me up. <laughs> I think he could have done perhaps a, a, a better laugh. They said. Even with Sir Leopold gone, the scepter still finds a way to be controlled, possessed by someone. Although Marcelo is a bit different, he's he can overcome the, the scepter's power. What's what spell was that supposed to be? What magic was that? March it more I once but I we Uh, we, we get thrown into somewhere called uh, Purgatory Island, and this is pretty much like a, a, a death sentence or jail. But we, but we got to keep our weapons. Oh, there's none. Sergeant. God, please. Oh, 
So this cutscene is special to that of the 3DS version. This kind of shows how Hero met Medea. Other way around how Medea found the hero. Medea's mom looks just like Medea. Yo, Trey. Nah, this scene was not present on PS2. You gotta choose between um, Jessica and Medea for the ending. Morning. What do you think? I choose Yankus. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong with the horse princess.
good eye. I'm got. I got it. Come on. Okay. What? Shut it. Didn't he? So we got news that the uh, high priest died. And we've been stuck here for 30 days. But that's okay. Rello is the man with the plan. When? Much. Maybe. We're help. We have. Ah. So, right. Got it. Ah, some ear. He's. Someone give that man an Oscar. What? It when ah. I. We, eh, thank Could you? Are you? Take a little. Holy! <clears throat>yeah to be honest I'm not quite sure how Rolo survives the cage falling and such <gasps> Zuleo we're looking about uh, nine and a half hours for this category Your ending requires me to do the uh, dragon.
Definitely want to shoot another safety save before uh, fighting Marcelo. So anything could happen in that fight. So let's give Timberl attention to Angelo. And then save. On even playing field, Marcella. All right, let's get Angelo in here. Wave of ice to start? What the? I mean, I guess Yangus gets a free psych up. Uh, okay, move Yangus, accelerate. Sucks. Okay. Just dodge my 50 tension parallax just like that. My man is smooth. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Kill my hero and then, uh. Well, I should probably go in here with. Okay, that's good turn order. Let's do this. Defend, psych up, timbrel.
A, something that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do another 50 tension parallax. Don't think Marcel is dodging this one. Okay. <laughs> Good old Thwackmas. Thank you. If he do if he thwacked Yangus, I guess that's a way of dodging dodging it. Okay, let's go for the kill. Play thrusts, parallax, timbrel, dash. Red did a lot of the heavy lifting there, just throwing money at him. Marcelo tried. I'll definitely give him credit. Okay, gonna take a bio break here, enjoy the cutscene.
What if you... but let me... <laughs> Oh, the double re-grab. It's no, impressive. You So there's some bonus content with Marcella that's featured in the 3DS version. Extra cutscene and uh, extra boss. Alright guys, this is the last dungeon. Or at least in terms of any percent. You know what, before we do that though, let's get some cheese. We have acquired our cheese. Now we're ready for the final dungeon. Ooh, he got me. That's not good because uh, if I get tra- oh no. Okay. They, those guys could take forever to run away from. Just not doing too well with enemy dodges today. It is what it is though. They nerfed the barrel room here. They put less barrels unfortunately.
A dark robe is Yegus's best armor. Oh my goodness. That's three encounters that I just ran into already. Wow, look at this formation. This ain't good. Oh gosh, when did I last save? <laughs> oh my goodness. I ain't, I, I ain't fighting Marcelo again. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was completely my fault for <laughs> Just getting uh, getting to that random encounter that sucks. I'm gonna have to think of a way to recover. sucks is I thought about safety saving before entering this dungeon just because of the random encounters. I'm thinking about it. I mean, it's 20,000 gold. That's a lot of money. But that's okay. I think we can improvise. I think we can improvise. Exactly, Cowie, that's what we're going to be doing. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever died to a random encounter in this dungeon before. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, that was a very crazy formation, but what the real MVPs were the underpants guys, because they knocked down my party. Oh, come on. 
That's not cool. Okay, those guys are literally the scariest guys in the game. I ain't going near I ain't going near them. The next fight is Mini Raptor, and I mean, that's a pretty difficult fight in itself. I'm just trying to think of a way. I can't really afford to use Dosh Tosh or Dosh Toss in that fight, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Um, hmm. Those 20,000 gold is just massive loss. Okay, we have reached uh, Mini Raftorn. Okay. Dark Robe to Yangus. Silver shield to hero.
Yeah, I gotta go for the cheese here. Oh gosh, Angus avoided the flash. That's amazing. Okay. It's oomph, uh, hero. Red's dazzle to wear off, please. Okay. Gonna have to play aggressive here. Uh, Temporal, accelerate. Well, now he's getting wave happy here. Just fine. We're just. <laughs> okay. Pretty much stage one again. Uh, psych. Oof. Yangus. Psych. It's actually not a bad turn. It's not damage. Yangus, we do benefit because Yangus did end up getting them. Tension. Nice dodge. Dark Robe gives Yangus a 25% chance to dodge. It's very nice. Yangus is no longer dazzled, so we can do this. We can multi thrust, parallax, multi heal, and then Fandago. I'm cool with that. My goal is to beat this guy without Dosh. And I think we're doing okay. Okay, we're just resetting ourselves. <laughs> this guy's funny.
good. I was actually kind of worried he was going to crit there. Oh, thanks there. Oh, he's my damage dealer. Well, just tingle. Hundred tension red. It's a little bit risky because uh, my HP isn't that great right now. Frizzle's good. Oh, especially on red. All right, my team can't die. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> okay, Omni Heal. My team can get wave, though. Yang Hero's MP is getting a little bit concerning, though. As long as he doesn't do anything uh, too crazy this turn, we'll be alright. Dang, this is a 50 tension. It's fine. Good. Parallax. Timbrel here. And Come on, Yangus, go first. Oh, come on. It's just a little bit slow. Door down without using a single dosh. That fight would have been way faster, definitely uh, way faster if I got the doshes off. But I just couldn't afford it because of my mistake. But that's alright. I don't, and I don't really want to dosh tosh the rest of the way here. Rust, Tack, Timbrel.
I only have a single uh, timbrel of uh, tension. The next fight is going to be with the set of statues, and there I'm going to be just using AoE. The percussion in this song is so good. Same thing here, I would love Red to go first here. Zap. Conquer's axe, remove, thin air. Let's go swoosh and hero, and then temple. Good. Good turn order. Got two more fights. Two with the little uh, dragon eels, or we call them, and then uh, got Rune himself, which they buffed in this version. On PS2 is a very pushover, but how they buffed him, they gave him two turns now. Unfortunately, you can't quick save during the sequence. Zap them. Then air. Swoosh. <laughs> Double cassette. Nice. Right. 
can do it this way. We're gonna leave the timber on red. But I need to remind myself to switch it out to Angelo. Do it right after the fight. So as I mentioned, Ruin was buffed, they gave him two turns. Really the scary thing is if he decides to focus fire on a character, because that'll automatically kill him. He lands both hits. Alright. Uh, Ying is here. <laughs> nice dodge, Yingus. We actually went for Yangus twice. Hero. Psych up, uh, full heal yourself, and turn her away. Here's gonna get off a hundred tension multi thrust. That's not too bad. Almost a thousand damage right there. Twelve hundred. Using that dude was a mistake. Anti thrust, parallax, dancing. Thinking that Yangus will be able to kill him with the next parallax here. Well guys, we did it. We beat the dungeon without using a single dosh, which is what we needed. I think we're now we're okay on golds. Certainly not ideal to ever go through the final stuff without uh, using Dosh, but we had to because we need the money for Raftorn. That's the most important fight that we we just need Dosh. Period.
You know, I never really thought about that. He does have, like, uh, the Dark Genie vibes from Dark Cloud. But he has a really sick goatee. The best goatee you'll ever see in any final boss. Yeah, Wave of Ice is this way. Is, uh, is the was the, their way to balance out tension. And it does suck, you know, you build up 100 tension and then boom, Wave of Ice. I'm a fan of the DQ11 pep system. If there was a way that you can, like, gauge... If they were to do the Pepsips Pep system again, I'd like to see like a gauge or a way to tell that you, you're, you know, you're pepped up. Yeah, before we fight Raftorn, we have to do a little bit of orb collecting. When you get these orbs, you just go back to where uh, the people died in the story. There's a couple last important items I want to make in the alchemy pot. One for gold and the one, um, the other one is the meteorite bracer. I really want to give myself enough agility so that hero goes first for the final fights. Especially when I run out of, uh... When accelerate runs out. Omiyo is going to be my best friend for the next, uh, for the final fight.
Gonna be visiting the Alexandria Tower for the third time. So with the two ending category, that means we're going to fight Raftorn twice, final Raftorn. So we have to beat Raftorn in order to unlock the post game, and then if we want to get the true ending, then we have to beat Raftorn with the Argon Ring. At this point, might as well wait for the DQ11S HD Definitive Edition Remake S. For PlayStation 6. I have one more orb to go, but I want to grab this uh, agility ring.
the final orb. Look at the background. The final fight will have two phases. The first phase... It's kind of a unique phase. We're gonna be praying for seven turns. Well, we need seven successful uh, prayers from each character. As of right now, Raptorn is immune. We can't affect him unless we break his barrier, and the way to do that is we're gonna have to do a series of prayers. That maid has done that to me a few times before. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, Raptorn is probably the hardest boss in the in the run. But after that, after what just happened, I probably have to give it to the maid there. Dang. I've lost the PS2 run because of the maid. Well, not that maid, but a different, uh, a another servant in the same, uh, let's see, where was he? Gold ring. In the same building, I lost a PS2 run nine hours in because I got soft locked by uh, the servant. That was, uh, that was, that was a thing. Okay, let's make sure we're set up correctly. I 
Taco, ta hard cheese. Yeah, we're looking good. Yep. And then... And Hero should have the Meteorite Bracer. Good to go. Alright guys, let's do it. Let's take care of Raptorn. First, first phase, prayer. One time, uh, one fight where the wave of ice is actually good is going to be this phase. What I'm hoping for is the laughter from Raftorn and the wave of ice. He's going to attack, preferably not the orb attack, the one where he spins uh, the ball around, and then the, the meteor drop is can be pretty deadly too. Looking for weak things like Kaboom or Kafrizzle. See, laughter, that's perfect. <laughs> Raptorn, you're so funny. Maybe he's laughing at how I died at his dungeon. Wave of ice, yes. Okay, there is the ball. That means that's an automatic heal. You know what? We're not healing. We're just going for it. Red will be fine. I believe in her. Uh oh. Uh, hero should live. Yeah. Okay, I should definitely heal though. <laughs> This is where the handy uh, meteorite bracer comes in. That's all right. Gonna at least get two heals in. Pretty much gonna be full HP after the uh, these two heals. They nerf the Sage of Stone, so it heals half of what it did in on. Uh, PS2. This is fine. Everybody's above 75% health. We can go for another prayer. Double one. That's one of his best attacks. That's that's an attack that I really hope he does for this phase and uh, the second phase. He has another meteor drop. That's that's the worst. One of the worst ones. Okay. Sage stone, multi heal. Just need somebody to go first. That's fine, but what is he gonna follow up with? Kaboom? Well, after the Sage of Stone, yeah, this is a little bit sketch, but we'll we'll still go for it. Man, we only need after this prayer, we only need one more. Laughter, yes, yes, two laughs, <laughs> nice. All right, we're going for it.
Good. Oh, this was a pretty good first phase. That was fast. The good news is that uh, if we die to the second phase, we don't have to do the first phase again, so... But for true ending, we, we I think we're going to have to do this phase again. But at least in terms of getting through 80%, uh, we're done with the first phase. Okay, my calculator is ready. He has roughly 6,000-ish health. Um, and all hands on deck, because this is probably the... The hardest fight in the run. My beloved, now we will be. Yeah, sixty five hundred health. Take off, no mercy. I'll start off with some cheese. Angus, accelerate. As always, keep accelerate up 100% of the time. Nangus will be parallaxing. With the help of Angelo's oof. The ice breath, his his breaths are the best. Really? Okay. And then the double balls are just the worst. <laughs> you always hold your breath when he uh, uses the uh, balls. <laughs> oh, baby. That was pretty clutch zing. Not Yangus? Ah. <laughs> okay, this is. Weird. Just wake Yangus right back up. Give him a give him a high five. Hey, there's we're on the board. 500 damage. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Oh, Angus, accelerate. Problem is, I'm already like burned through a few Omni heals. I don't have, uh... Don't want to just burn through my Elfin Elixirs. Okay, this was a perfect turn. No one died. board again, or get on the board with the Angus here. That's 
2. Boxer for you. Symbol. Keep dashing. Oh, baby. Magic burst. Uh, don't high five. Oh. Okay. Let's. Let me heal Psych up. Dance of life, Angelo. He's going to wave a vice this turn. He's not, he's not going to kill anybody. But the magic burst followed by the arm is so scary. I'm pretty much in reset now. Let's try using the cheese again, psych. Let's treat this as a reset. Starting from step one. Oh, that's a nice spell to use. Can we see more of that? That's a great turn right there. Let me heal. Parallax. Timbrel. Okay, he is half health. Oh, the perfect target. Perfect target. Hey, welcome, Ice. I'm okay with that move, putting Aegis to sleep and then uh, waking him back up. At least it gives uh, Red there a chance to uh, attack. This time, uh, Hero didn't wake up though. Gonna have to multi heal for safety and then dosh. Good. Perfect. Hero waking up was all I care about. This will be close. Uh, 500. I don't think Yangus will... Oh! You know what? Maybe Yangus will kill him. Let's see. This could be GG. Just need Yangus to do 1400 damage and we're golden. Ha! <laughs> nice. Just need uh, Yangus to be faster than uh, Raptor and shoot. Uh, multi heal. Fandango. Wave? Come on, Red, finish him. Good. All right, we got Raftorn. Nice. What a fight.
Red definitely carried that fight. She she's been our or she's been the MVP for for that particular fight. We're gonna have to fight Raptorn one more time for the true ending. But now uh, we get to enjoy some credits, and then we can prepare ourselves for the true ending. So if you guys aren't familiar with this game, there's a post game. That actually goes into Hero's background. They wait until the post games for you to find out more about the hero. And it has, uh, in the original version, it has the hardest bosses, aka the, uh, the, the dragons something called the Dragovian Trial, where you fight a series of dragons. For true ending, all you have to do is fight the initial dragon for the Argon Ring. But they significantly buffed him on the 3DS. So the uh, dragon is not an easy fight as well. I'm gonna need some help with RNG. That's okay. We'll, we'll get through it. Got him. Now this is the part where I get hungry. All right, stretch time. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way any percent went. Um, the bosses were pretty decent. I, I didn't wipe to a boss, I believe. I know I wiped to a random encounter. Definitely made some uh, some crucial mistakes myself. But the bosses have been kind. Um, 
Grind was okay. I guess Trap Box was really the, the boss that gave me a problem. It took 22 tries to get Jessica poisoned and a few resets. Evil Jessica was something to behold. I don't think I'll see a Jessica fight like that in quite a while. Uh, the fastest time, or the world record for this is, for any percent, is 719 by good old Purple Mario. Uh, I just, I'm a bit, anyway, just do. Hey. Well. <laughs> So, Medea has an arrangement with uh, Prince Charm Charmley from Argonia. I know the time I have. Please give. <gasps> so then.
Uh oh. That Ro Ro Shaggy. It's been and yet to Are you really Alright, I guess we have to do something about it. Guess we'll have to force our way through now. What? Yeah. You. I invested points into Yangus's fisticuffs. I knew what I was doing. Got some good friends. Now that's amazing. My marriage was arranged by our two fans. I always resigned myself. I simply can't abide him. If it's a choice between marrying that twit and being a horse, you can make mine a grass sandwich. I can't live my whole life denying my true feelings. Take my hand and let's run away together. Please, take me away from here. How could you? Oh, okay. All right, we can't say now. Take my... I 
There's the Argon Heart that we actually obtained. We're gonna have to sit through the credits and then create a save. And that'll, that save will let me do the post game. We got some really good music here. Let's enjoy the uh, credits. Thank you. 
It's been a lot of... Oh. I think the normal ending uh, for this game is pretty, pretty good. Really, really. Last time we saved our adventure log was uh, <laughs> the start. Okay. Time for the post game. I think we're on pace to uh, beat our estimate. I'm not 100% sure. All depends on how uh, the Raptor and Dragon fight goes. You saw a cutscene briefly that shows the uh, the dungeon we're supposed to go to, and it's pretty close by Argonia. <laughs> we just hate Charmley. I'm actually going to throw a safety save here. Thank goodness that uh, we don't have to deal with random encounters, otherwise we'd get destroyed by them. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just, you know, walk around them. Don't mind me, guys. Just... Looking, looking for the village. Now, the Dugovian uh, tri or the Heavenly Dias, I believe that's the name of the dungeon where you uh, fight the dragons. That's the best grind spot outside of like the final room in the Memorial Lane. You can level you can level up to 99 really fast there. As you'll see a bunch of metal king slimes. And even this fight right here can be worth uh well, we actually try to go. Yeah, try to try to touch me. Let's see, thirty thousand could be worth sixty thousand or more. In that, in that fight right there.
Reapply pad for it. <clears throat> Just in time for the end. So not only are we gonna find out like the background in the post game, you find about find out the background of Hero, how he's a half dragon, half human, but then you also uh, also learn about Munchie. This is the last area before the reaching the town. We made it in one piece. That guy, it won't. Well, we can't. How did he do that? Well, I it has you. you. Chen Mew. Appropriate name for Munchie. Indeed. There will be. If that buttercup. 
Talk to the round table here. Glad you can make a deep sweep. But I am clean. Okay. Nope. Want to make sure we head to uh, home first. For the next Please. boss fight, it really is going to be Red's time to shine. Respect the hitboxes of the NPC. NPC, they are just too strong today. I'm gonna need a lot of money for this fight, so let's sell that uh, spear that we picked up. A creative Ellie works for me. King Spear, $24,000. Well, I'm almost tempted to sell the, uh, the, uh, the other spear. I think I'm fine. Hard cheese, wafers, clothes. Right bracer, red, Angelo, life bracer.
Now listen, brother. I. The top is this dungeon, uh, not a not a particularly long dungeon, thankfully, but the uh, dragon awaits us. It's the dragon we're gonna need to kill for the Argon Ring. Oh, hello. This is the area I was talking about where you can grind kings pretty easily. Let's actually save a little bit closer. Here we go. All right, this is a difficult fight. And this is a pretty much an endurance endurance fight. New will last longer. And they buffed him on PS2. Uh, he's a pushover. 3DS, he's no joke. He can literally one shot anybody he wants to. All right, let's do this. Nice. Not the greatest of starts. Thank you. <laughs> I know. It's your time to shine, Red. I can't have you die in the first turn. All right, defend, defend. Can we get an accelerate off, please? Yeah, you can keep doing those flame breaths, I don't mind. He has a lot of health, so it's gonna take a bunch of uh, doshes. Yeah, good dodge. Excellent. 
I have no choice but to leave red the way she is. I'm just going to defend here. Defend, defend, defend. No, no point in healing. Should the, other, the three should live. Red's the only one who's going to die. Okay. Yep. Attack the person who's using Defending Pog Champion. Oh no, I have two people who are defenseless. I had to get that on the heal off. But uh, please attack somebody who's defending. Oh, that works too. <laughs> that works too. I'll take it. Good dodge. There it is. Couldn't couldn't dodge things forever. Good. He's, n he's not touching red. I appreciate it. Oh, hero's out of MP now. Oh, hero's dead now. to accelerate. Okay, good. He's actually being very nice. He's being really nice. I hope it keeps up. Hey! Oh, now he's changing things up. Uh-oh. Can't beat him, knock him down. He was being so nice, I forgot he did that. I got red, okay. Uh, shoot. <laughs> you know, you just hold your breath every time he attacks. All right. <laughs> The Dragon Lord is down. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to be that nice, guys. The RNG was beautiful. <clears throat> I just threw money, money at my problems Jeez. and uh, oh, I we're good. You. You, TQRTA. <laughs> hmm. 
Absolutely, we voted on marrying Angus. But Well, guys, I started the dragon fight with around 70,000 gold. Anyone want to take a guess of how much gold I have left? Every dosh takes 2,500 gold. Oh, if I had 55k, that'd be nice. As long as I have 40,000, I'm, I'm good for Raftorn. Oh, we'll see. Does I... Interesting that these characters look like Hero and Medea. Take a look at the gold. If we have over 40,000, we're good to go for Rafthorn. 28,000. Mm. Should probably sell something. Okay, now we're, we have enough money for, uh, I'm gonna sell the spear, cause I have to. Yeah, it looks like that fight cost me over, uh, or around 50,000 gold, or, or 40,000 gold. Yeah, I still can't believe I died to the underpants guy. Oh. Unbelievable. Okay, highly strung cheese. Got our elfins. Okay, guys. Back to praying. <laughs> we have to fight Raftorn one more time, and that's going to be a time. You must go!
I'm looking for, again, I'm looking for waves. I'm looking for laughter. Just like that. Keep it up, buddy. Wave and a laughter. You need a total of seven prayers. So this is a good start. Number one. Fight's gonna be exactly the same. With my characters being a, around 50%, I should probably heal here. So, only heal, Sage of Stone, multi heal, and. You don't want to see the balls, but at least Angela will get a multi-heal off. Ooh! That sucks. Well, hero's in danger. Kind of. didn't go off. Thank goodness uh, Red there got a turn. Wave is good. The ball not so much. Do I go for it? Do I go for it? <sighs> Two characters at half health. I guess we go for it. Frizzle's good. Okay, we gotta heal. <laughs> Good. Perfect. The multi heal will cover this. This is, I need one more, but I, I'm going for it. Ugh. Angela or Red dies, that could be trouble. Okay, that's good. So no double balls? Uh oh Okay, good. Whew. I was a little bit worried my resers would have been taken out, but that's okay. It was a good risk. Okay, final Raftorn has 6,500 health. Uh, first phase, or if I die to Raftorn, I won't have to do the first phase again. Um,
it's usually a good turn on, on phase two if no one dies. My Bella, now we will be. You know what time it is. Time to get cheesy. It's an example of a perfect attack. Oh. So much for the cheese, Yangus ain't getting anything. Me heal, tingle, dash away. Yeah, he put Yangus a lot. Put, he put Yangus to sleep a lot the other time. Okay, that's a good turn. Gosh. Wow, Angelo. A couple meteor drops already. Barely killing my character. Almost sending my characters to death. I almost want to leave uh, that under tension for uh, Hero the whole fight just for that extra defense. He's being nice, he's being nice. Spreading out the rocks. He's halfway there. Attention for uh, Genghis. But we are over halfway there. I'm gonna defend here. Let's play it safe. Uh, multi heal and then dance of life. Oh, okay.
Can Red live this? Yes. Oh my goodness. Back in the game, <laughs> that's a that's a lot of uh, ex accelerate there. All disappeared because of the wave of ice. Just fine. Just need another one to heal to get off. No, I need hero to go first, please. Hero, 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 hero. Thank you. Red and uh, Yank, or Red and Angelo decide to be fast again. Cut it out. Might be able to win right here if uh, Yangus decides to go fast. All right, GG. There we have it, Raftorn down second time. 926.58. GG, everybody. Right underestimate. We'll definitely take that. <laughs> Excellent job, everybody. That's one way to end a marathon. Beating uh, a purple guy twice, then marrying the princess. Should be an interesting anecdote for the ladies. I bet Granddad and the Oaks Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us as usual. But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? <laughs> I transported your friend, Brain I, you, it is... All right, guys, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, play through the ending, at least through the marriage part, and get through the credits, because you guys at least deserve uh, um, 
wa- watching the hero get married here, see the actual uh, true ending of Dragon Quest Eight, and then we'll uh, call it a marathon. We're gonna have uh, the staff have. Uh, we're gonna have the staff do some closing remarks. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, watch the ending. Uh, please enjoy. Nah, I mean literally. Take a look at yourself. Everything is back as it should be. Father. Hey, look! Trodane is restored. The glory returns. Everyone, this calls for a banquet. Prepare a feast.
Gaff! Hey, hey! Long time no see, eh? I ain't seen your muck since we polished off that fat geezer. Yeah, we ain't heard a flaming peep from you since. I mean, I know you're the strong, silent type, but still... I've had to put up with this one grumbling and moaning the old time. Honest and goddess. His first words to me when he come to me gaff were... Do you think the gov's forgot about me? All right, Red. There's no need to make me sound so flaming soft. What? I'm only telling the truth. Uh, any anyway, Gov, I heard the news. Ed Guard, eh? It don't get much better than that, does it? You deserve it, though. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse print. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Ah, oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So, it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely princess. I just ran into Yangus, too, same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know, so I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. Anyway, are you really all right with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. Oh, Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. Don't you? He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. Hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my admirers. Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and find me when you're ready. <laughs> Long time no see. How have you been? You look pretty well, that's for sure. But how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria? I've missed you. You know, I was planning to go off and live on my own, but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home. I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us. We get on really well now. I'm not much of a replacement for my brother, but I decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently, Yangus and Red have teamed up now and they're doing something together. Can you believe it? Last I remember, they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. Huh? You're on your way to 
to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Okay then, I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. to have you call on me so that we could take one last walk through the castle alone together just like old times I know it's not quite time yet but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly to thank you for everything you've done the times I've spent here in Tredane Castle with you will be memories I shall treasure for always I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty and you please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. Oh, so then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long. Well, so this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Trudane tomorrow. Sorry, Princess, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. Well, well, pleased to make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness, oh, oh. you must be Princess Medea. Oh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey. What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in your charmless. It's Charmley. Oh, aren't you those servants 
from the initiation. Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy or wealthy or, well, anything. <laughs> That brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Wait a minute. The ring. You still have the ring, don't you? The one that belonged to your father. If you have it with you, go and show it to King Clavius. If he knew you were his nephew, he might just change his mind about this ridiculous marriage. Go and find him at the Lord High Priest's place and see what he says. I gave the royal magic mirror to some time ago. What brings you here tonight? You look like you have something important to tell me. That ring. It's set with an argon heart. How on earth did you acquire it? Hmm. I must admit that your tale is enough to give even me pause. It sounds as if you truly are Eltrio's son. How else could you possibly know all the things you just told me? If my brother had not left his country behind to go after your mother, he would be king of Argonia now. And if you had been born a prince, then I suppose it would be you marrying Princess Medea tomorrow. But those are just what ifs. It would throw the kingdom into turmoil if another heir appeared at this late hour. I cannot possibly recognize your claim. Please try not to think badly of me. You must consider the subject closed. Please leave now. Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be right in front of that big church.
We thought you weren't coming. The ceremony's already started. It's Bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. seeing the new Lord High Priest and the Bride and Groom, but it's impossible to see anything from here. Just have to take care of that night. What? Yeah. <laughs> You leave him to me, Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What's taking her so long? doing? Are you trying to ruin my wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once. Wait. That will not be necessary. He has a right to be at this ceremony. considered. You are the rightful groom. <gasps> Father? How can you say such a thing? I'm the rightful groom. Yesterday evening, the boy you see standing there gave me this ring. What's that? Is it an Argon wing? I don't understand. Only members of the royal family who passed the initiation should have a wing like that. This ring belonged to my elder brother. It was Eltrio's ring. That boy is his son. Ah! It is only right that he should be the one to marry Princess Medea. I won't allow it! Princess Medea is promised to me, so I'm the one who's going to be marrying her! Pardon me for interrupting, Your Majesty. I've just received word that the bride is now ready to make her appearance. Open the doors! Allow the bride to enter!
All right, we made it through uh, Dragon Quest Eight and the whole marathon. All right, we made it. So, yeah, as we're wrapping up here, just want to thank a few people. Uh, you know, thanks to all the runners for committing their time to this event, and a couple who had to deal with some slots that were a little outside their availability and. Everybody's run seemed to go pretty well. We're in, in a couple hours late, but it didn't mess up anyone's schedule. It just gave a few people some extra sleep. So that's all been great. Um, now and thanks uh, High Spirits as well for helping restream with all this and helping with some of the coordination behind the scenes and updating the commands when I forgot to a few times. Uh, Clear Tonic for uh, doing our layouts again this year and of course thanks to all the viewers here for being great i've been restreaming and watching chat for like 75 percent of this marathon and i don't think i've seen a single person get timed out so you've all been great um and uh yeah shout outs to baramos for being the largest time loss in the run he's did a great job as always and uh shout outs also to underpants dance guy for giving us a little more dq8 Uh, also, last shout out to just the DQRTA community in general. If anybody here in chat wants to learn a Dragon Quest speedrun of any game, uh, you go to speedrun.com, you can find a link to our Discord where we've got people in there and resources for pretty much every game in the series. If there's something we don't have a you know, document for in our compendium, you can probably find someone who can at bare minimum point you to a Japanese language doc or something. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really got to add here. I know we've got a raid coming up here in a second. Um, and yeah, we'll see y'all next year.
It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. How curious to think that you would have been Prince of Argonia had things been different. Fate deals strange hands indeed. Well, pull to those old promises made so many years ago. <laughs> now you two are free to decide your own destiny. Never mind that now, Father. Look, we're home. Home for good. <laughs> <laughs>